today I'm going to show you guys what I got at the American Girl Dallas grand opening. I am so excited. Okay, okay. So, first of all, American Girl Dallas grand opening was amazing. It was my first time getting to go to a grand opening of a American Girl store. It's been such a dream of mine to go. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I just can't believe one of my dreams came true. It was, like, so exciting. And so I'm really excited to show you guys what I got at the grand opening. So, I feel like without further ado, let's get started. But beforehand, if you have not gone and watched my going to the grand opening video, grand opening vlog, whatever it's called, um, go, make sure you go watch that. I just posted it before this video, so, you know, make sure you go watch that. Um, or watch it after you watch this video, you know. But anyways, it's a great video, so you should go watch it. So now I feel like we should jump into my haul, you know? You know. Okay, first thing first, the giveaways. Let's talk about the giveaways. So at the grand opening, they were giving away free stuff, okay? The first thing is this poster, okay? It says, oh my goodness, it's so big, and it's actually not double-sided, which I am very happy about, because if it was double-sided, I would need another one. <laughs> so it says... Look at how big this is, first of all. This is humongous, okay? I'm so excited. I'm so glad it's like a big poster because it's so cool, okay? So it says, in every era, character counts, and it says American Girl, and then it has photos of all of the American Girl character dolls on it that is out right now. Like, it has the historical characters that are out currently. It has World by Us characters. It has some of the Girl of the Year dolls, such as Kira, Corinne, Lila, and Kavi. And then it says, for more than 35 years, our character stories have inspired values like courage, compassion. This collection gives girls a glimpse into our country's past and present and how they can shape its future. So I'm really happy that they were giving away posters. I personally thought it would be one or the other because not only were they giving away posters, but they were giving away books. And so the books that they were giving away is American Girls, A Smart Girl's Guide to Making a Difference, Using Your Talents and Passions to Change the World. Okay, I thought it was going to be one or the other because how it was worded online. But no, they actually gave me a poster and a book, which I was really excited about because I was like, what am I going to pick? Depending on the book, like... It was just such a hard decision if they made me choose because I really love the poster but I also don't have this book and I'm really excited to read it. So I'm very excited to hang up the poster in the doll room and to have the book in my, my book collection and to read it. Speaking of giveaways, I dined in at the American Girl New Cafe and so I'm trying to get all of that stuff out. Where's the plate? Did I not make it home with the plate? Hold on. Hold on. I gotta take everything out of my shopping bag to find this plate for y'all. <laughs> Where's the plate? Oh, here it is. It was underneath. I'm not even gonna tell you what it was underneath, okay? Because I'm not gonna spoil it. Okay. Okay, we're good. Whew. Okay. So when you dine in at a American Girl restaurant, you get to keep the hair ties that is on the napkins. So I really love the hair ties. They're like such a cute little accessory. And like even if you want to wear it like on your arm as like a cute little like, not necessarily like a bracelet, but you know what I mean. It's very cute in that aspect. And it's very cute to put in your hair. It's it's adorable. I just love giving getting these. Okay, and then if you bring your doll, which if you do not have a doll to bring with you, but you still want to eat at the cafe, they have a whole raw wall of dolls that you can pick to choose to dine in with you at the American Girl Cafe, which is really cool. Um, they give you a pink plate, okay, and they also give you a white with a pink flower and pink stars. It says American Girl on it mug. So this is really adorable. I do know some of the new um, stores, or some of the stores have changed the style of the cups into like a teacup. I know LA is doing that. So I'm going to have to go to the LA store. I mean, I need to go to visit it anyway because I haven't visited it, visited it yet. But I need to dine in to get to the cup because it looks really cute. Okay, and then <laughs> they were going around and giving people crowns <laughs> at the cafe, and so I got a crown, and I didn't wear it, but it was adorable, and I had to, it's a little really wisher crown, so I thought that was really cool how they were giving away people crowns at the grand opening, 
the cafe. And then if you get this dessert that it's like the flower pot dessert. I can't remember the exact name of it. But it comes with a cute little flower that you can take home for your dolls. And I have a handful of these because I just, I just love them. And then I think that is it for the cafe. The cafe was really nice. Um, the food was really great. If you've never dined at American Girl Store, I really recommend it because they, the experience is just awesome. I just love it. And not only is the food awesome too, but the experience and the little giveaways you get, it's just, it's so much fun. Okay, so the bag has the new American Girl logo in it, like the shopping bags. And this is like my first ever American Girl bag with the new logo. <sighs> so excited, you know? Like, to add that to my storage collection of American Girl bags I have culminated over the years. Okay, first thing I got is the new American Girl travel like accessory case. What's the actual name of this? It's American Girl on the go accessory case. So this is kind of like a big, kind of like a makeup bag, but not necessarily like a makeup bag. It's like this big like travel case zips open. Okay, the zippers, I can't have it zip open right now because of the packaging. Where's my scissors? Oh, here they are. On the table. By the way, the doll room is really like a wreck right now. I'm very self-aware that it's a wreck. It's been a wreck since I don't even know when. It's been a long time. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's fine. Okay, so it zips open. You have two compartments. So the first compartment zips open. Okay, and it has this like cute little. What is this? It's like an envelope thing. What is this? It's this envelope clear Velcro like pouch that you can take out. You can maybe put like some doll jewelry in if you want. Okay, it says find your inner star on it. It's very, very cute. So you could, I would say this is probably what this would be used for. It's just jewelry, you know, like really like your rings, your um, necklaces, your bracelets, you know, whatever you would like your doll to bring that story rise probably would go in here okay and so then this is the top part of it you don't have as much room as the bottom okay but the top part of the lid it is clear so people can see inside whatever you put in this on the top part of it not on the bottom um, it has this like American Girl logo the star and it's all different colors like a rainbow love it of course you have your handle for it to hold your zippers are like gold and they're metal okay and then the main case itself it has American Girl the new logo and bordered on it okay and then we're gonna zip the second compartment same zippers and then here's what it looks like inside you actually have some pockets so if you want to put maybe some doll shoes in the pockets you can. You can, like, fit a lot of stuff in here. I feel like this is going to be very useful. So, obviously the name is on the go. So, this, I would say, is primarily used or idea for you to be traveling with your doll. So, like, for example, I went to Disney World a couple few years ago. Um, and Allie had this big photo shoot. Allie's my Disney doll. She had this big photo shoot. Um, in Disney World and so this would have been really really helpful to pack all of her outfits in for that big photo shoot that I did um, instead of putting all my clothes in a Ziploc bag so which is very chaotic don't recommend it so I'm very glad to have this so when I do have like planned photo shoots on the go or something I can put the outfits in here or even I could even use this for storage you know like maybe it's outfits I need to put away and tubs or something just put it in here good to go you know so I feel like either way no matter how you're gonna use it I feel like it's gonna be useful okay so the next thing I got is the American Girl Felicity Merriman notebook this is sold out online okay it's been sold out online for a while okay and I was like really hoping crossing my fingers manifesting you know all that that American Girl Dallas would have it because it's sold out online and yeah I'm really glad that Dallas had it um, this was like, I was like looking for this. This was like the first thing that I was looking for in store because I really, really wanted it. And yeah, so I'm such a completionist. Like it's kind of bad 
how bad I like to complete collections, but um, I really am obsessed. I call it the American Girl Fan Gear line, even though that's not what it's called. But anyways, it includes like um, water bottles, they have stickers, and they have notebooks or journals um, with different historical characters, like, clothes patterns on them, and so I have, <laughs> I went a little crazy in Columbus, okay, so now, um, I only need, like, a handful of different things to complete all of the, like, all of my collection regarding that, but, yeah, this was something that they did not have in Columbus, and then I saw it was sold out online, and I was like, oh no. So I feel like they are getting ready to retire this stuff since it's sold out, and I saw a couple other notebooks that are sold out online, so if you want something from that line, I recommend to get it now, because it looks like it's going to, once it's gone, it's gone. Just from my observations, so. Yeah, I don't have that many stuff to purchase for it, so I'm really, I'm doing good, okay? Doing good. I'm really proud of myself. I think I'm going to pause here. We're, we're going to come back to the actual doll stuff I got, but I wanted to talk about something else that um, I got or I got done at the American Girl store. So I don't know if you noticed yet, but I did get my ears pierced at American Girl Dallas, the grand opening, and so I thought of, I would talk about what you get and stuff with the bag that you get given. So first of all, you have like your raver that you sign. Okay, if you would like a full in-depth video over like getting your ears done, like getting your ears pierced at American Girl, let me know and I'll make it. But it was really, really fun. These are my earrings. I don't know if you can tell them on camera. Those are my earrings. Um, they, they're really cute. So in the goodie bag that you get, you get the um, earrings, ears, <laughs> like I can't remember what it's called, solution to like put on it um, every twice a day. Um, and then you get a booklet that's American Girl themed um, that tells you how to take care of your ears. It tells you what to look for to picking out your earrings um, and just different things like that. And then it like tells you some crafts. I left it upstairs because I had to put the solution on this morning. But other than that, you also get a earring, like an earring craft to put your new earrings on. And then they also give you a sticker. I kept the sticker. It says, I just got my ears pierced at American Girl sticker. And so I was wearing that yesterday. And everyone that I came across, they were so happy for me. They wanted to see my earrings, all the store, all the employees and other people that were there. And it was just, yeah. Anyways, I never got my ears pierced at, um, before. And it was something that, like, I kind of wanted to do. But at the same time, I'm really scared of, like, you know different things <laughs> and so um yeah but you know yeah I feel like I kind of look weird with earrings what do you guys think I don't know maybe it's just because I never had them done before and so it's like really weird to see I don't know let me know what you think um but be nice be nice please <laughs> anyways going back to my doll stuff I got I got these really cute um, American Girl Fashion Show Awesome Ombre Glasses. I mainly got these because they were rainbow themed. And you know me. I love rainbows. So I had to get them because they were like a rainbow like ombre pastel. You have pink. You have green. You have blue. You have purple. Like very, very pretty. I don't know if I'm going to put them on a certain doll. So let me know. And then I also got the American Girl, speaking of rainbows, American Girl Fashion Show glittery rainbow boots. I had to get these. Like my first store visit that um, I went to with the new release because these in the glasses and some of the other stuff we're going to talk about just came out. And so I had to get these. Like I could not pass because these are rainbow glittery boots. Okay, next thing I got is the Truly Me Pink Chic Accessories. This comes with a purse, a little hat, a sunglasses, a ring, 
So this is very, very stylish. My dolls need some style accessories. They need some new clothes too, which brings us to our next thing, which the first outfit I got is the Truly Me Celebrity Chic outfit. I really love this outfit. I personally thought these were going to be mix and match because American Girl, they posted a photo of the new outfits on their website before they were released. And I thought they were going to be like the new mix and match collection. But no, these are like actual outfits, which I thought was really, really neat and really, really cool. I love the jacket, love the skirt, love the shoes and the little shirt that it comes with. I can't wait to put this on one of my dolls. Not sure who yet. They're all going to be fighting over it. You know them. And then the last outfit I got is the American Girl Truly Me floral fashion outfit. The dress is so cute! I love the dress, love the um, boots that you get. So fancy. Such a little fancy outfit. And it's and I love how they released it in um in February because it like screams like pink and Valentine's Day to me and I love Valentine's Day. I just love I just love decorating for it and you know, yeah. Okay, so the second to last thing I got is and since it was the grand opening, I had to get a doll, okay? I just had to. I thought about getting two dolls, ended up just getting one because we're going to Washington, D.C. literally next Sunday, which I'm filming this on, like, the day after the grand opening happened, March. Today's date is March 3rd, okay? So, next Sunday, I'm going to America, Washington, D.C. I think the date next Sunday is either the 9th or the 10th. I think it's the 10th. Yep, the 10th. So, if you're in town, then I would love to meet you. But I had to, like, contain myself a little bit because I want to spend... You know, I want to get something at Washington, D.C. And so, yeah, anyways, this next doll I wanted for a long time. Um, and I came up with, like, a really good name for her when they announced that American Girl Dallas is going to be moving to the shops at Park Lane. And so I was like, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I love to name dolls after stores or places I got them in um, and so I already have like a Dallas okay so I really was like okay what can I do because I wanted to make a doll I wanted to get a doll at the grand opening not only it's because the grand opening but also because you know I wanted to name her something that kind of is special you know and so I came up with a really good name her name's gonna be Lane after shops at Park Lane that's the mall that American Girl um, Dallas is in now, and so, yeah, are we ready to see Lane? Okay, so she is number 118! She's just so precious. You know, I actually thought about getting Lane. Um, I actually thought about her, like, getting number 118 multiple times visiting an American Girl store, but I always ended up getting a different doll, but I always wanted her, so I'm going to open her, by the way, because why not? Um, so, the All the Truly Me Dolls comes with a really special book. It's the All About Us book, A Special Girl for Special Friends, and so this is such a fun book, okay? Like, literally, this is, like, so colorful. It's so cute. You get to do so many things with e with you and your doll. It tells you how to make friendship bracelets. It tells you amazing animals. Like, these are the pets in my family. I want to see these animals in person. Like, it's such, like, a really cool journal book to do with you and your doll. Like, you can color all the states that you've been to. Like, really, really cool. Just awesome stuff. Really cool book. I love this book. I hope they never change the book because I love it so much. Okay, now I gotta cut her out, you know? Like, I have to, like... I'm sorry, I should have not said that. That's kind of like a weird wording, I feel like. Like, literally so cute. I had my eye on this one for the longest time. She kind of, like, screams fall to me, so I kind of wanted to purchase her. I've always wanted to get her in the fall. You know how some dolls, they just kind of look like they're, like, summer dolls. They're spring dolls. They're winter dolls. They're fall dolls. She, to me, looks like a fall doll, but... I really thought that she looked like a lane, too. So I was like, I'm just going to get her. Shops at Park Lane. Because she looks adorable. And I love her. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I feel really bad because the doll room's like a wreck. And she's like, probably like, is this where I have to live? Like, so messy, but it's fine. 
it's kind of chaotic always in the doll room. You know? You get used to it. <laughs> it's a fast-paced, changing environment due to my shopping addiction. Here she is. Isn't she so pretty? So she has the Nenea face mold. She has these gorgeous green hazel eyes. Her meat outfit is like this floral meat outfit um, with some little bit of um, cheetah print on her arms. Her shoes are so cute. I love to mix and match some of the Truly Me shoes and these are like one of my favorite shoes to mix and match in because these are like pink cute little heels, okay? So now we gotta take our hair down so you guys can see her highlights in her hair. She does have the painted on lashes, but she still has regular... <gasps> oh, honey. You look such like Elaine. She should have got... Maybe I should have gotten her ears pierced since I got her, my ears pierced at the grand opening. I don't know. I just love her. I love her. Look at how pretty she is. Aww. So she has these really pretty curly hair. I'll show you, like, the back of her hair. Okay, and I don't know if you can tell it on camera, but she has um, these, like, blonde highlights in her brown hair. She's honestly, like, a really, really pretty doll. Like, I just... I really love her. I just think she's so stunning and she's so gorgeous. She's probably going to have to wear one of the outfits that we got today, right? Or maybe I should make up an outfit with, like, the, the glitter boots. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Because she is stunning. I love her. So, everybody, welcome Lane to the Dollies and Rainbows family. I'm going to spell it L. A Y N E, because I like the spelling of that. I think it's I think it's so pretty. I mean, I could have just spelled it how Lane is spelled at Park Lane, but I was like, let's make it more fancy. You know, even though the regular spelling is fancy, but you know, I just always loved the the A Y N E spelling. The last thing I got at American Girl Dallas Green Opening, which I'm so excited about. Okay. Is and I got the last one. Okay, I was really proud because I was looking. Okay, I'm just gonna story time with Mal real quick. Okay, so I was on the second level of the store and I was looking all throughout the second level and I'm like, I can't find this. I really wanted this and I couldn't find it. So I was like, we we're gonna go down to second level for something else. So I was like, okay, Cassie, let's just go down to second level. Let's see if we can find it. And so we went down and this was the second last like this was not the second this was the last thing on the shelf for it and I was like ah, like this was meant to be like ah. anyways and so I like hurried and I was like trying to like carry it even though I was carrying so many other things and like my dad had to go get a, a bag and I was like hurry dad like I can't have this sell on me somebody can't come over and like take it from me because it's mine like I want it so anyways yeah this is the, it just came out, okay, and I really wanted it, and I was saving, I bought all the other pets, it's pet themed, I bought all the other pet stuff in an order because I had a certificate that was, like, expiring, and I think I ordered something else with that order, and I think the whole purpose of the order was to get something off of the last chance sale that I wanted, and so I was like, I'll just order the other pet stuff, and I'll just save this for Dallas, because I was going to get all the other pet stuff in Dallas, but I was like, you know what, it's fine. The American Girl It's this pet spa daycare set. I just love it. And you know what I think? Um, it also comes with a new pet, too, inside. So it's, like, really cool, you know? Not only if it like is it cool, but it also comes with a pet. I have been a sucker for the pets these past year, okay? And I, like, usually, like, I love pets. Like, I think they're cute. But, like, I've never really gotten into it to where I would purchase, like, kind of like an accessory like this. Like, a big accessory like this for the pets. Because I was like, oh, you know. <sighs> I don't know what pulled me in. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what pulled me in. But something did. And I just, I'm obsessed with them now. Like, full on obsessed. It's kind of bad. So I really, really love this. I think it's adorable. I'm not sure where it's going to go. I think I'm going to pull something out of the doll room and put it there and put something in storage uh, for a little bit. 
because I thought it would be such a cute setup to put this with is the pet shop that is on the last chance sale. Don't know when I'm going to buy that. Hopefully it stays around for a while on the last chance sale because I really want it. But I'm not sure when I'm going to purchase it because we have some purchases coming up that I need to plan for, which not bad. Like, it's just, just, you know, some store visits. And I'm going to this, like, big, um, what's it called? It's like a big, like, sale for kids stuff. Um, and last year I found a lot of American Girl stuff. And so this year I am thinking I will probably find... I mean, girl stuff out of two, so and that's the whole purpose I'm going. So I'm like, ooh. So I might have to wait a little bit. Hopefully, it will be around for a while. Because I would like that. <laughs> Okay, everyone, so that was what I got at the American Girl Dallas screen opening. I love everything I got. Um, I think it's so perfect, and yeah, I just love Lane. I love the pet spa and daycare set. It looks so cool, and it comes with, like, the bulldog, like, the exclusive pet, and, like, all the accessories and stuff. It's just adorable. I'm so excited to have it. And I love all the outfits and the cute little accessories. And yeah, I'm just so happy with like the stuff I got at Dallas. I just think it's perfect, you know? Like I just, I just love everything. And I loved getting to go to the grand opening. Oh my goodness, it was so cool. <gasps> oh my gosh, I will like forever remember the day because I feel like it's kind of like a once in a lifetime opportunity because American Girl like hardly ever opens stores anymore and all the stores that are you know around and stuff they've been open for like years and you know when they opened I was like a little girl and I didn't really know about going to grand openings like I didn't know like I mean I knew like grand openings were like a big deal but like I didn't know all the details and all the fun that would be involved and you know like like I wasn't like I was into America Girl, but I feel like I'm more, not necessarily involved, but kind of know, like, a lot that's happening, you know, like, with going to grand opening and, um, being more, like, aware of things, like, maybe, like, retiring and, like, you know, selling out and, like, stuff like that and, like, really paying attention to different things and stuff. I don't know. Does that make sense? I don't know, but... It was just such a fun day, and it would, and it's like a day that I will like forever remember. And I really 100% recommend going to the new Dallas store because it's so cool and it's so awesome, and all the employees are just so sweet, and all the displays are just, ah, I just love it. So thanks for watching this video, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on my Instagram, check me out on TikTok, all the same name. It's always a rainbow. It's really fun everywhere I'm at. Check out my doll theme podcast called The Doll Mom Podcast. Really fun on there too. Posted an episode recently, so very, very fun. Cool. Fun. Nate. <laughs> Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below your latest, doesn't even have to be American Girl, your latest doll purchase that you got. Um, let me know what you bought recently, what you want to get next for your dolls, what things are on your wish list or on your need list. Let me, let me know if you're able to comment, of course. I think that's it. I think that's all I have to tell you. I'll see you next time. Bye!